There are four antennas for the tire pressure monitoring system. One is located in each wheel well and the control unit is located by the brake booster in the front. If you are replacing the TPSM control unit, you will need to disconnect the ground cable for the battery, red arrow. If you are only replacing the antennas, you can leave the battery connected as long as the key is off. Starting at the front, remove the wheel well liner, red arrow. The procedures are the same for both sides. If you need additional assistance with that, please follow the link provided at the end of this video. On the rear of the wheel well, you will see the antenna, red arrow. On the front, the cable passes behind the unit and connects underneath. Squeeze in on the tab and disconnect the wiring connection, red arrow. These can get awful dirty if you live in a four season climate. Make sure to clean the connection well. If you are replacing the antenna, you can gently lift up on the clip and remove it, blue arrow. If you want to remove the mount to clean behind it, you can use a 10 millimeter socket and remove the two plastic nuts holding it in place, red arrows. This image shows how the cable passes behind the antenna between the body of the mount, red arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. On the rear, remove the wheel well liners using a T25 torque and 10 millimeter socket. Unclip the wiring harness by squeezing in on the clip and separating. Use a 10 millimeter socket and remove the two plastic nuts holding the antenna in place. Installation is the reverse of removal. The control unit is located in the front by the brake booster, red arrow. Please see our article and video on trim panel removal for additional assistance with access to it by again following the link provided at the end of this video. The control unit can be held in place by a single or two 10 millimeter plastic nuts, red arrow, depending on the year of your car. Release the tab, red arrow, holding the locking arm in position and angle the arm back. This will separate the wiring connection. Installation is the reverse of removal. If the control unit is replaced, it must be programmed with a PIWIS tester 9710 or if your scan tool is capable. It needs to know the relevant vehicle, country version, and equipment. Reconnect the battery and plug in your scan tool and turn the ignition on. Select the special functions menu and erase all fault codes. Use the automatic search of control units. Select write in data and install the data readout. Your scan tool should display code write complete. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.